Okay. Hello, guys. Today is going to be a bit day. I'm wearing my prom suit, and I'm going to start heading to a friend. This is the social traveler gamer here, and, um... Yeah, hello. Hello, folks. I, I am John here. And we are going to head to San Francisco today for Senior Ball. And, um, explain your channel name out. Oh, I am... My channel name is John Bursons. I mean, John 61 something. Oh, well, 61100 is what it is, but like... I am John Burson's, yes. Yeah. And I am Mr. Liane here. So, um, we're, um, so we have our, um, driver folks, Deanna, here today. And, um, she'll be driving the Jaguar's car all the way to SF. SF. Yeah, so, the yeah. Academy of Sciences, right? Yeah, Academy of Sciences should yeah. be the one. So, um, so let's get this day started, shall we? Oh, it stinks a little. Can you open the window? Yeah. I smell something. It smells like a. The scene in this car smells like some sort of a skunk in here. No, it's been hot. No skunks. It's the. When it's hot, it sweats. So basically, when it's hot, it sweats. Yeah, get out of the car and take it off and then come back in. And it smells like, yeah. But I should be fine because I just like, what is it? Um, I just like, what is it? Um, did it, yeah. And look at him. So yeah. handsome with his tie and his sane. <laughs> yeah, I look like the this thing, and we'll get and we'll get started um in this quest soon. Thumbs up if you want subscribers to subscribe to my channel. Here, give me the jacket. And um go ahead and get yeah. in. Climb in. So there we go. Right. Climb in. So we're gonna take so, this. So here's the Thanks, Calvin. You're welcome. So here's the phrase, um, let's get this roll head started, and time to tip the scales. Go ahead, and I'm gonna fix this. So, meanwhile, we're having some fix this. I'll put the wheel on partial now to hit the road. Let's just go. Hit ways. Sorry, my hands like this. You have a uh, charger in here, yeah. And good, my things in Wi-Fi mode. I'm gonna pause it to see if I can enable Wi-Fi. So, guys, we are leaving John's house now, and um, oh, look at the sunlight. The sunlight's where we're beautiful, right there. And on, um, yeah, the computer just alerted. The computer, not, the car just alerted that um, there was a person going way back here. You can see a person walking back here, and um, yeah, and um, the roll right here is gonna look awesome actually. So I'm gonna let the music play, and I'll talk. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, we are. I know you're working back in Oakland, I see. Most of the time, yeah. Downtown. Most of the time. I cover Oakland. Sometimes I'm in Oakland, San Francisco, Palo Alto. I'm also covering Nevada, Utah, and Southern California. Mm hmm. So about once every other month, I'm in Las Vegas. Once a month in Pasadena or Century City. Because they were going to prom. Yep, I wonder who it is. Oh, it might be, huh? Let's go look at it. Yeah, go ahead and check it out. It looks cool. So, anyways, we're heading to Constant Speed here. I gotta say, being out, being being right in front of my friend right here, and um, being right next to him, gives me such um good like you know, gracious griefs.
Yeah, we can see the limo right here. I'll zoom in the position where you can see the limo. There, that car right here is the limo. And, um... She's probably sharing it. Yeah. And I'm probably, um... Yeah, it looks awesome. I filming off the bridge, too. I can see two parents, old grandparents driving a Honda. I guess it's there going down there, yeah. So this is called The Adventures of John and Cowan and featuring the new guest, Deanna Burson, who is the driver. And um, yeah, this is gonna be a totally great time. There I saw a man and his dog sitting in a wheelchair and um, trying to throw the depths of nature. My, I believe I have um, a like you no know, voice. Um, a like you know my friend, who does judo and is also practiced on Lincoln soccer before, yeah. Wow. In Lincoln Middle School before, yeah. I'm just glad it's just me and John, and not like last year, which was so kindly, deeply, um, you know, um. How annoying I was like, you know, perpendicularly half. So, this limo is far away right here. And, um, yeah, you can see the um, green fuse right here. And, those, and it looks kind of awesome. You see when they camp's bakery up there. You see a whole village of you know um high street, yeah. Of course, I see a more cyclists. And there we just passed um John's grandparents' house. This is the last time we was going to San Francisco, and I told the bus. The bus that go to Sarasota to around five something early in the morning passes through this street. This street is called Insanel Avenue. Mmm. Man, I so love these water set of German raspberries. So good. Especially when you bring some as snacks and an appetizing adventure trip, right, John? Yeah. So these, my friends, are German raspberries that I'm having, and boy, do they sound so good. So watch, so watch and see as I give a raspberry candy to my friend, John. You want a strawberry candy? Raspberry candy? Yeah. He told the bay, eat it, Logan camera. And how is it? How do you like pretty it? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm glad my friend likes it. It just give a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up is for the like you no know, I say um adventure, but at least we're going to Broadway and past Santa Clara, yeah. And there's a chance we can quickly catch the freeway yeah. instead of waiting in front of this like you know what's it um. Boring crap roads with lots of cramped cars. Because if we keep going straight ahead and all the way towards the end where Knobville is, we can make a turn, we can make a left turn, and then finally, like, you know what I say, um, go to the, like, what's it, you know, Green Bridge. And once past the Green Bridge, then we'll finally be able to, you know, um, go reach the freeway. Hmm. As you can see, this black raspberry looks kind of cool, especially when you play with it. This is what life in the United States is. So life in the United States is... It's all about 
is all about the life times you really really need. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. When you bite through it, you can see the corn inside it. Looks. Those were very like no ways that um yeah those were very like no for something yeah some people are in American life or sometimes like you know just like you know idiots some people there just figure out we're like you know idiots in a two times toll ranch people who are idiots are really the worst idiots I ever compared to mind. Especially when I eat some German raspberries and get myself very, very good and friendly wise. I figure out having some delicacies on board is really good. So just to let you know to keep you updated, I will be heading all the way from San Francisco airport on the um on the 15th of June at around like um at around like 1 p.m. something. Because when I get to the airport, it's gonna be like around 2:30. After I, because I there's the bus wait schedule time, and there's the what is it um, and there's the what is it um, bar train or something, and most of the time, that's just it. If you, before you want to catch a flight, you must advance yourself two hours early before this. But first, we have to check in first. Checking in is mostly important thing because it helps develops. Because we really need to, what is it? Um, check in. Check, check in is um actually the most important thing you ever have. And there we go. So I see the sun right here, and we are finally um entering the freeway. So you can see cars right there going going through the freeway, and um, it is where we're glad to finally be back in the freeway. As I remember riding the um, San Francisco AC Transit all AC Transit all the way from from Alameda to SF, and I've been most of the time like you know um, going past roads like this before, yeah. So John Derry are on the freeway. So just to let you know um. Tomorrow for a new update, when I get back home from prom, I'm just gonna do nothing but go to bed. And when I fit and then when I like you know wake up at seven, I'll be having some breakfast. And when I finish having some breakfast, it's finally all all the way back to Alameda High to finally start the tournament. My guess is the the, the um prom scene will finish at midnight. Which I have to Say the at least would be just like you know last year. So I have been known to become a YouTuber and like you know what is it like you know um game recorder since I started my channel um last year. And starting the channel last year felt kind of awesome, actually. Man, you can see the you can see the sun or rolls, and there is here is Oakland. Boy, you can see people who are driving nice and quiet without honking their cars. If they were honking their cars when people were filming. That would have been a bummer, cause later they would get arrested and not the filmer. The because the filmer wasn't doing anything wrong. But, but the driver was. His driver was illegally honking, which he or she shouldn't have. So by the way, I I drove all the way from um Alameda from by myself from um Berkeley to um to um Marriott Hotel just to drop my dad and then finally drove the freeway all the way to GameStop because I heard that um Heard that there are some things that I really wanted there, but when I got to there, it was, you know, too late. I just can't believe that, like, you know, 
Things like this would be more where most most touching. This is an update for my game Lego game dimension say. But I cannot believe it. Today is a happy Saturday. And um I'm pretty sure it will be awesome. But there, you can see Alameda and the port of area, just just where you want it to be. You can see Port of Oakland over there, and you can see the bridge of where people were doing stuff. People tend to do stuff just because they to amazement. But I consider this an amazement thing. Because being on a winter, it's just like being on the most comfortable road right here. And over you can see um West Oakland Bar Station over there. Sorry about the sunlight motion capture glare. Because it shows that um sunset is about to start soon. I can't believe being on the freeway looks kind of um, okay to me. And um, and um, so um, you can see San Francisco way in the background over there with um, San Francisco like you know Bay Bridges. So I'm gonna be taking bar to San Francisco Airport. So I'm gonna make mostly say it's gonna become a round way, one way trip or something. No, round trip. Because I'm playing my stuff, so I'm I'm have to go with one way first, and when I go back to to Alamia, it's gonna be another way. So it's gonna be a round trip, but the but it's gonna be a like one way for separate, like one way separate, and the second one separate. So that means I'll be starting my filming in bar station in the bar station. So at winter we get started soon. Stay tuned, cause I come first with teachers and they say they were going, so I'm going. And um, I get some hours of practice there. 30, 30 hours of practice there. Gotta be ready to take the pro belt test to get myself promoted in Jiu Jitsu. So right now, we are on the freeway here. And um, it's on the freeway. We can like what I say, um, see the Bay of Emeryville, like you know Bay Street, like you know Berkeley Marina. You can see them way over there. So I'll be mostly heading back to Berkeley Marina at May 28th because of because there is going to be an open house there. Because because when I go to Essa this last time morning, the OX bus usually takes that route all the way down here because um. Because like you know, they always like you know want to enable s some good stuff there. But now you can see crowded, crowded cars way right there, lining up for cash pay. I gotta say, pay money er Yeah, fast run, right? Yes. So you showed a fast run on top, right? Mm -hmm. He yeah. saw it, right? It snaps your license plate. He saw it, right? He saw a fast run, right? It snaps the van and the license plate. So it snaps the vehicle and license plate, and then it also shows the reveal that there was a fast track on top, yeah? Yes. Because that was required. Yes, I have a fast track, and I snapped your license plate where your VIN number so most of the time you will not get captured because you already used the fast track. Yes. Which is good. That's why it's not fast track. You're mostly getting into some serious trouble because they will tell you park. Oh yeah, I have fast track. That's a good thing. Getting fast track is a good thing. So guys, remember, if you want to like, you know, what is it like, you know, cross San Francisco Bay, you'll need fast track no matter what. Because it's required by law that when you pass the toll fee, as you don't, you'll result in a penalty. We're a high penalty, I guess, but we'll see how much the penalty rate is. You you don't want to know about this. I'm explaining to you because there's a one-time offer chance that you might want to know about this. Even though you come to U.S. by driving U.S. The time is some eight eight p.m. 
and I can see the sun still sunsetting. So right now we are experiencing hard traffic in front. Do it for your family, buckle up. This wheel, this wheel inside the screen looks kind of awesome. And the German raspberries are on. Cause man, that was a good delicious sugary snack. I just finished my 7 up too. Which I crinkled into a can already. Man, <coughs> it's a man. It's a cold. It's a cold to a warm, hot day today. Yeah, it's always colder in San Francisco. It gets cold in the evening. Because that's where I have to reach it. We see Golden Gate Bridge. That means destination is right past it. Pardon me for coughing. Yeah, did you see that? That went crazy. Like, what are they thinking? They didn't have harnesses or anything. Yeah. No bungee cord, no harness, nothing. Are they totally nuts? Yeah. That could have been really bad. Like, yeah, not have been good. So now you can see hills and trees, tropical trees right there. And most of the time, you can see a tunnel right in front of you, which is um, 14, which is um, there's a better way to work. It says up there, carpool, take transit, bike, telecommute. This is what I took on. The second one on top, public transportation. Yes, this is a very, that can allow me to get better way to work. So now we are in this, tunnel right here and you can see a lot of cars right there like based on that European American Chinese Korea Korean Japanese these special types of cars that influence one's companies because when I went to China I saw a lot of taxis that are mostly Volkswagen so man China has most of the like you know European cars and if you imagine what you're hearing, that roar is. That roar was basically like, you know, um, basically come from motorcyclists. I heard that most of the people in China do drive motorcycles. And you can see the road that leads to Treasure Island. You see the road that goes back to SF Bay. And now, finally, here we are now in the Golden Gate Bridge. Looks amazing, isn't it? Yeah. 
This is called the Willie L. Brown Jr. Bridge. So for first time drivers, if you're planning to always cut lanes, you must always enable your signal lights no matter what because this is for safety reasons. I am not saying this just to brag, but I am saying this just because I want you all to be safe when you're driving. Especially when you're making a turn. You always turn your signal no matter what. Always. And also, not a good idea to cut saw lines when you're on the street. But it's okay to cut lane when it is before a solid line and when the line is undotted, but not in the middle of the intersection. These are some useful tips to get you to drive when you're riding in a car or when you become a driver just like my friend's mom over here, Deanna. So man, you can see the crew that has an X on it. This crew that has an X on it. You can see the, you can see the X right over there. And um, yep. So I'm gonna keep going, and you can see the sun is already like you know giving out rays of light because it's going down the mountain now. It goes down the mountain, worry, worry, slowly, 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 no matter what. And there you see San Francisco Bay, Essa Bay. So we can see a Lexus over there, a Toyota, a Nissan, and we can see a Hyundai right next to me, Honda Elantra. And we can see a Honda too, Honda Accord. And we can see a Nissan too, Nissan Quest. Nissan is typically the like, you know, was it um, Chinese, no Japanese, um, Japanese meaning term. But Hyundai is actually a Korean car type. Because when I was in Thailand before, I saw that there are lots of cars that, that like, you know, have Honda there. Like Thailand does sell Honda, Honda cars. Interesting fact, Thailand sells Honda cars in Toyota too. Because the car that me and my friend and the driver that are in is um, a Jaguar. Anyways, hello San Francisco. You can see the Trisford Tower. No, I mean Salesforce Towers. Sorry about that. And now we see a Ford Explorer right next to us. Salesforce Tower, yeah. There's the Salesforce Tower is almost done. They just had to finish putting the mirrors. My guess is gonna take like five to six months more before they finish building it. You can see construction. By the way, when I was going on a morning stroll from from 6 a.m. in SF all the way to 8 a.m. I was strolling around. I saw a statue area that is in the shape of a bow and an arrow. Bow and arrow pointing the field. It kind of looks interesting because there is a bow and arrow sculpture down there in downtown SF. They have beta breakers this weekend also in the big race, running race. Yeah. Just let you know, way over there, you can see um, AT and T Park, which is home of the San Francisco Giants. I remember taking a picture of um, Buster Posey and Posey on Instagram and tagging my friend on there, and he kind of liked it because it had the name of John Stock. Buster, like Buster Posey, and seeing the reason why John's dog was was named Buster was because of the SF Giants' best base baseball player, 
Buster Posey. Yeah. And like, you know, he busts this Aries thing as eliminating his enemies. I just hope if Lego created a John Stock as like, you know, Buster Posey as in Mr. Buster. It would've been awesome to bust up everything. But the saddest thing I want to say today is that I had a friend who was a YouTuber. He goes by the name of Swifty Boy Marbs. If you want to subscribe to him, you may click the subscribe to his saying. But it's okay if you want to subscribe to him or not. I subscribe to him because he's my friend. Since he and I were in high school, I subscribed to John. I subscribed to my friend who was in front of me because he and I met in middle school, and so did Jonathan, Leon too. Also known as um Jonesy Leon. If you want to subscribe to his Instagram, subscribe him to subscribe to him by typing the link at Jonesy Leon Lun. Or type in Jonesy Lud. That way you can search for him. And now there's AT&T Park. And I see AT&T Park over there. But it says um work here, be happy. So this must be where we're peaceful up there. Because this doesn't seem to have lots of um game members around here. So work here, be happy, Splunk. And look, I see SF Giants. I see the stadium. If, you, if you're if wondering how you saw these ledges were on top of it, and center one, then you'll know it's the um, AT&T Park. So my friend has been to, what is it, um, the SF Giants best baseball game just like my mom went to for a opening concert. They played it at the what is it um They played it as the what is it um something. And you can see there there's NBC Sports when you pass by. NBC Sports based on the channel and so is CBS. I heard that there's a new show called Cars 3 coming out. So you can see Lightning McQueen. But I don't think I'm going to be seeing it. But I will see if I want to, I guess. But what the movie that I am mostly dis that I disappointingly just missed was the Lego Batman movie. Gosh, I want to see that movie so badly. I went try to watch it online. It had to tell me to do some things, which is so like you know, kind of extremely frustrating. Which is a bummer. And look, we can see the Salvation Army Silver Crest Senior Residency. This is for where Senior lives. And this guy in a Buick just looked, Buick just looked at me. He was wondering what I was doing, but he doesn't know I was filming because this video was gonna go to you know YouTube.